You know what you can't ask for, though? Oh, she's getting crazy. Y'all see that? What? Mm. Before I realize what happened, she launches at me and tackles me onto the bed. It's kind of hot. A sharp pain pulsates through my abdomen. I fight back with everything I have and try to get her off me. Ooh, she going in. She getting in guts. She lets go. Wait, what? She let what? Salutations, witches. It is me, your girl, Kiyomi Amaris from The Hextasies. And today we are playing Nothing Special. Uh, it says this is a short, disturbing game about being held captive by a mysterious girl. This is my first attempt at making a game, and it is around 8K words. It's around 25 minutes and two endings. Hope you like it. This is made by and published by uh, Pemphil? Pempil. Pe Pempil. I hope I hope that's right. Um Yeah, let's just, let's just get right into it honestly, okay? I got nothing more to say. Let's see who this mysterious girl is, okay? She don't look half bad, I'm just saying. Anywho, baby Tanjiro, please and thank you, love. Bring me in. Uh, okay, let's let's start. I will be your narrator tonight, okay? Uh, let's just turn this off, okay? Let's get to the spookiness or whatever. Cold. It's cold. It's so cold. How long can my body go on? It's freezing. I'm drenched. Eh, pause. The tides are cutting into my skin. The pain doesn't get better with time. It's the same relentless throbbing. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> what was that noise? It's footsteps, very familiar footsteps. The sound of leather boots sinking into the mud. Seems like she's back. Ooh. I can't tell if I'm relieved or terrified. But what? But what does it matter? All I can focus on is the pain. You're awake, right? She kind of cute. I don't know. I don't know. I'll give her the... Okay, let me not give her the bit of the doubt. But she kidnapped us, right? Okay, anywho. Every time I come over, you're sleeping. I'm surprised you managed to sleep so much. Seems pretty uncomfortable down there. But I guess you have nothing better to do. Huh? Nandato? There's nothing I can do to make her release me. I already tried. I've tried everything. I won't make the mistake of engaging with her again. The mistake of engaging with her. Huh. Oh, what's with that smell? It's awful. Don't tell me you... Oh, no. Was it really that urgent? You really can't wait for me to come back? I know it has been a while, but... You didn't do this on purpose, right? To track search dogs or something? No. No, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that? <laughs> oh? A blinding light hits me. It's coming from behind her. A flashlight, maybe? Does she have someone else with her? There's no way there's another one like her. Now I'll have to clean you up. It's getting real difficult to take care of you. I never signed up to be a babysitter. You make it very hard for me. Oh, well. Let's remove the gag. You know the drill. Oh, she into some friggin', friggin' stuff, ain't she? I take a deep breath as she rips that thing off my jaw. The air is nice, isn't it? Cold shoulder, hmm? I'd say that's better than the crying. We're making progress. Why is she kidnapping me? Is she like a yandere? Like, what's, what's going on here exactly? Today, we will skip the usual chores. I have a big surprise for you. I admit, I let you stay here longer than planned, but life's busy, you know? As an adult, I have a lot of responsibilities. I can't just sit home and draw all day. It's hard out there for us normal people. Luckily, my living conditions changed, so guess what? You could come home with me. Do I want to? It would be dry and warm. And not only that, 
My attention will be fully on you all day, at least for a while. Isn't that great? I'm sure you're thrilled to get away from here. Her house? Is that really better than the forest? It's easier finding people in forests, isn't it? I can't say I hate the idea, though. I'm going to die if I stay here any longer. By the way, do you feel any pain anywhere? She's got to be kidding me. Don't let her get you angry again. Just answer normally. Everything hurts. I can't feel my feet. Oh, that's not good. It must have been pretty cold. Let's see if they warm up when we're inside. I can get you some painkillers as well. Painkillers aren't going to remove these zip ties. Oh, yeah, she into that freaky stuff. Okay, baby. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Just hold out a little longer. It must only be a mild frostbite, so it will heal by itself. The what? Frostbite? Ah, oh, hell no. Is she talking about my feet? I guess she only hears what she wants. You were lucky. Think about it. At least you haven't been eaten by an animal. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think they eat humans alive. Wait, what? Is this what? Dude, of course they what? what? Um, except rats, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna put these on for safety reasons. She waves a blindfold in front of my face before putting it on tightly. I know last time has been difficult with traveling, and I apologize for the bruises. But I got some help this time, so everything should go smoothly. Help? So it really is another person. Caught by two psychopaths. How the hell am I going to survive this? We'll see each other in my room. Play nice, alright? There's no use in resisting. She grabs me by the collar of my jacket and drags me through the mud. It's painful. We stop and hear a car door opening. Another person's footsteps are coming towards me. Both of them pick me up to shove me in the back seats. They close the doors and start driving. The drive is long, and they sit in silence, not saying a single word. I try sleeping, but it's impossible with the anxiety. After what feels like many hours, the car stops for good. Seems like we arrived. The doors open. Or the door opens, and they carry me out. They're more careful in doing so this time. I hear a door opening and can feel them carry me up some stairs, followed by dropping me to the ground like a garbage bag. So much about being gentle. Maybe they just have to stay quiet and outside. Does this mean there are people around here? That would increase my probability of survival. Faintly, I can hear her whispering thanks to the other person before she comes in and shuts the door. She removed my blindfold. Ah! The red walls gave me the illusion of being in hell for a split second. Turns out we're just in a normal looking room. Not what I expected from a kidnapper. A basement would have been more fitting. Can I make this bigger? One sec. Okay, that's much better. Not what I expected from a kidnapper. A basement would have been more fitting. My attention goes back to her. Hello again. Welcome to my room. Ah, uh, all alone. In my room. I'm glad. Looks nice, doesn't it? I cleaned everything for you. Maybe I should have done that after you came. Your smell is going to linger, but oh well. I'm not going to do it twice. Take it all in. No rush. I'll bring you some food, and after that, let's get you clean and warm. Don't try anything funny while I'm gone. Hello, pretty girl. Come here, Lulu. What you doing? Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Where are you going? That tall tail. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, anywho. Seriously. She leaves and shut the door behind her. This is bad. Nobody will find me here. I'm tied up, but even if I wasn't, could I run or walk? My feet are willow. There you go, Preston. What? Willow! Sorry, y'all. My cat just loves to be on my keyboard. Willow! I might as well look around. Okay, well... Oh. An ordinary PC. It's my art printed out. 
I feel a shiver go down my spine. That must mean she knows me from online. Am I? I'm, I'm assuming I'm a male, just because heterosexual norms. Um, also, I'm getting Gondry vibes. Am I her senpai? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I had no idea. I can look around more, but there doesn't seem to be anything more interesting. Well, I've seen enough. So she knows me from online. We didn't even look at it a lot of shit. What? I guess there isn't much to look at. So she knows me from online. Looks like this is some sort of stalker. This is bad. I assumed it was a ransom situation. I guess it makes more sense. I haven't had any contact with my family in so long. They have a bit of money, but not that much. And who knows if they even asked... Oh, wait, what? Who knows if they'd even waste it to save me? Why me, then? Is it because I'm an artist? I never heard of that happening. And there are so many artists better than me. Also, how the hell did she find me? I really have to get out of here. Who knows what she's capable of? I'm back. I wanted to get you your favorite food for today. But things got in between, especially money. The fridge is as empty as can be. So I just got you some oatmeal for now. You must be so hungry. I'll feed you, as usual. Let's get that off. She removed the gag. What would happen if I screamed? The risk is too high. Time for your meal? I don't have a spoon this time. I forgot it out there. She doesn't have silverware right here? I don't believe that. I hope that's all right. My hands are clean. And you're dirty anyway, so it doesn't matter if we make a mess. Willow! Get you! You're lucky you're a cute little kitty. Mm. Well, it matters a little bit since I had to clean so much. So, let's be careful. I hate cleaning. I know it's weird to eat out of my hand, but you're not grossed out by me, right? No, baby. Not grossed out at all, you know? What is she planning? Well, if you have no objections, say, ah! Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, let's just do what she wants us to do. If I was in this situation, I'll just do what they want me to do. I have no choice but to go along. Reluctantly, I open my mouth. Pause. Ah, good thing. Here you go. Don't bite down my finger, all right? I won't forgive you. Bite down on her fingers? What does she mean? Hmm. Huh. Her fingers enter my mouth together with the oatmeal. She's using four fingers to shove it in. Pause. <laughs> Why is she putting her hand in my mouth? She wipes the food on my tongue but keeps her fingers inside. I'm completely taken aback by the strange pose we're in. Did you know that over six billion bacteria live in there? Your mouth, I mean. Mine too, of course. She oh! She starts filling up in the inside of my mouth, going over my tongue and teeth. It doesn't seem like she's searching for something specific. It feels like she's moving the food around. I don't get it. Is she drugging me? Is this something perverted? It's a bit disgusting. I don't mind, though. Someone has to take care of you, after all. Is she trying to get a reaction out of me? I can't read her expression. Yeah, she do look a little... Them eyes look a little crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold y'all, okay? Y'all look... If you try and find crazy in someone, look at the eyes and the eyebrows, okay? That's how you know. She slides her fingers off my palate as she finally takes them out of my mouth. The food is smeared all over my gums and tongue. I don't know what kind of oatmeal this is, but something about the texture is odd. Here, have another scoop. You're hungry, right? Wait, what is that? There is... There's something moving in my mouth. Oh, what the... What? We're spinning that bit out. Sorry. Without hesitation, I spit it out. She ain't gonna be happy, I know, but like... No way. Those are... Maggots. What the f what? is her issue? There's so many of them in different sizes wiggling around. 
I had that in my mouth. I had them all over my mouth. What are you doing? I still feel tingling. Are there more? Are they still crawling around in there? I spit again, trying to get rid of the sensation, and again. But it won't go away. How many can there possibly be? That's enough! I see her ball her hand to a fist as she lifts her arm. Damn, did she just, did she just, you know, give me a quick one, too? Hmm. Cough, cough. What? <laughs> she punched me hard. My jaw aches and I have a throbbing headache. This dizziness makes it hard to focus on what's happening. Damn, how? Like, good lord. Like, does she take a class or something? Does she have that yandere strength? Like, she don't look like she could pack a punch, but I guess she did. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but you shouldn't have done that. I get very angry about people wasting food. At least you only lost a single tooth. I... what? I look on the ground. There is a tooth? It's mine? I suddenly taste the blood that's dripping out of my mouth. The pain will go away soon. I didn't punch that hard. Next time, just listen. It's not that hard. You did this to yourself. She really is dangerous. I don't have to do that again. I'm sorry, all right? <sighs> Hold up. She gets some tissues from her table and brings them back to me. Open your mouth again. Nervously, I open my mouth, slightly flinching when I watch her hand move towards me again. She looks around my mouth and stuffs the paper towels into the side where I lost my tooth. Just keep that on there until the bleeding stops. We'll put ice on it sometime later. I'll clean this mess up when we're done. Let's get you into the bathroom. That smells kind of unbearable. She drags me by the armpits into the bathroom. It's not the fanciest bathroom, but at least it's cleaner than my room. The pain is still pulsating in my head and my jaw starting, started hurting as well. The bright light of the bathroom hurts my eyes, but I slowly get used to it. The water got cold. I'll put some more hot water in. Small room for two people, but we have to deal with it. Oh, that's her. Small room for two people, but we have to deal with it. The window isn't boarded up like the room. The sun seems, seems to be rising. It's hard to believe that there are ordinary people walking outside this building. Walking by a kidnapper's house without any idea what's going on inside. Honestly, I would hate to be kidnapped. Like, that's... Oh, God. I couldn't know. I mean... No, let me not. <laughs> Maybe I've walked past some places like this myself. I read very hot water is bad for frostbite. Should be enough, then. How do you get you out of those smelly wet clothes? Getting new clothes doesn't sound bad, but I don't know if I want her to see me undressed. It's going to be a bit difficult. My eyes widen as I see her take out her knife. What is she going to do with it? She's going to strip you clean, baby. What you mean? She what? Don't worry. I'm not going to use it on you. I'll try to cut them up and pull them out under the zip ties. Why does she want me tied up so badly? She could just threaten me with her weapon. I need a bath, but should I really let her do this? No. As she crashes down to get a grip on me, I start thrashing myself around the, to the best of my ability. I barely have any strength. She seems again to stop her attempt and stands up again. I keep on thrashing and slowly getting get out of breath. The adrenaline doesn't last long at all. My exhaustion kicks in again. My motion gets slower and look up at her. Are you done yet? I wheeze and give up. My body immediately goes limp again. I suppose you really want to keep those keep on those clothes. That makes things more difficult, but sure, I'll run with it. We'll just bathe you with them on. I guess that saves time. Even if it's very inconvenient. Next time, you can just ask me instead of acting like a snail being salted. I'm taking your shoes off. Please don't do that thing again. Into the bathtub you go. Mm, I don't see a, a nice bubble bath. A nice bubble bath. Sounds nice. Ah, uh, it feels very hot. 
Finally, we can get rid of that stench. Aren't you happy to be in a warm tub? Hmm, I'll let you soak in there for a bit to warm up. Hmm. You know, I get that you aren't feeling great right now. Being in that forest must have been awful. That's how life is, though. She's talking like she isn't the cause of my misery. I had an awful week as well. My stress levels are off the roof. And then I had to take care of you on top of all of that. She has no empathy whatsoever. Why do I even listen to her rambling? The least you could do is make it easier for me. But I suppose you don't care at all. I mean, I get it. You're tied up and all. But I just think it's disproportional how much we give each other. This what? is crazy. This what? crazy. I cared a lot about you. And I did so much. I came almost every day to feed and clean you. And all you do is be a big baby. It's my fault, I guess. I should have lowered my standards and expectations. I will change that from now on. I'll treat you like you treat me. Let's see how you like that. <sighs> the least you could do is apologize. Whatever. What's it matter now? It doesn't. Forget I said anything. We should talk about something else. Hmm. Um. I've been wondering. Do you have a partner? What? Nani. You look confused. Is that really a weird question for you? I guess it's not that something you hear often. I have no idea what her intentions are. She should know I have no partner if she was stalking me. It's an awkward topic, I know. I was just curious. I can't find anything on that, so I guess you don't have one. It's difficult to know, with online relationships and all. Believe it or not, but I haven't been in a relationship either. At least not a true one. Just fleeting interactions, romantic failures, and mistakes. I've been pretty unlucky, and that hasn't changed to this day. Even though I make a big effort to find someone, I well, I always fail. Oh yeah, well. Let's finish up your shower. You should be warm enough. I thought it was a bath. I thought it was a bubble bath. That's all? She's not going to make some passive aggressive comment? What was the point of the question? I guess she has nobody else to talk to. The zip ties are a hindrance, but we should still be able to get it done. I'll have to get you clean. So not to make too much- what? This is why you know- okay, water break. I'll have to get you clean. So don't make too much of a fuss. If you aren't weird about it, I won't be either. I let her finish showering me. Done. You're all clean, I think. Your reeking clothes make it hard to tell. They color the bathwater completely brown, but it's all down the drain now, luckily. Oh, that's her. What? I've got to clean the bathtub too now. I got new clothes for you. They're pretty large, so they should fit you well enough. How do we get them on you, though? I suppose I have no choice but to untie you. I'm sure you're happy to hear that, but don't even think about trying something stupid. She takes out a knife and cuts the ties. Relief washes over me as I'm able to relax my limbs again. You got some bruising from them, but nothing too bad. Here are the clothes. Hurry up with the changing. The clothes you gave me really are large in size and seem to be made for men. Are these really hers? She waits for me with her knife still in her hand. I don't think I'm a threat in my condition, but who knows what she's thinking. Standing probably isn't a good idea with frostbitten feet. With difficulty, I manage to get dressed while sitting in the tub. All right, finally back to the bedroom. You can't walk, hmm? That's an issue. I guess you'll have to crawl. As if I wasn't humiliated enough already. She must be enjoying her power trip. You know who she kind of reminds me of? Now I'm thinking about it. She kind of reminds me of Monica uh, from uh, Doki Doki. She's giving me some Monica vibes. I don't know. Is that just me? Come on. We don't have all day. Tap tap. Hesitantly, I pull myself out of the bathtub and start crawling towards the door on all fours. Uh -huh. <laughs> so 
Sorry, you look ridiculous. It's kind of fitting, since you've been acting like a baby and all. I ignore her insults and make it to the room. She follows behind me. Get on the bed, please. Oh, 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 whoa, so sudden. Willow, despite my mind telling me not to, I follow her orders and pull myself up on her bed. It would have felt good to be in a bed again if I wasn't in a room with a mentally unstable kidnapper. She sits down on the gaming chair opposite to me. I'm sure you know this already, but as you can see, I'm a big fan of your work. I bought all your merch, I know all your characters, I made a Google Drive of all your drawings. I watched every stream you did. I have everything you ever posted saved. Not only that, though. You see, I have to admit, I was a fan of you too. Well, no sh- What?! You can't separate the work from the creator. At least in my opinion, you are your work. I know this because I know everything about you as well. I know where your parents went to school. I know all your friends' addresses. I know what you what I know what you wear to sleep. I know your likes and your dislikes. I know your political ideology. I know your goals and inner struggles. So I can see how similar you and your characters are. But I'm starting to feel as if I'm wrong. That I wear blinding rose tinted glasses when I relate to a character and see the work as better than it is. But that's me getting stupid crushes. And just to let you know your information, I found out about it very easily. But I didn't do this out of spite or hatred. No, I did it out of admiration. I admire you so deeply. I felt as if you are a god. A god who gave me a shred of attention. And I guess that's what made me fall for you. Yep, yandere. I knew it. I knew it. Yandere. Yandere. Mm. That opinion changed. I guess... I guess got to my senses when you were in the forest. I had this issue of being too impulsive. The flame of passion extinguishes so quickly. But that just means I'm getting closer to my goal. Trial and error. It's the price I'm willing to pay. I'm not going to lie. It brought me a lot of pain. With pain comes strength. I'll have to think about this now. It's many problems coming at me at once. However, I will preserve as usual. You know, minus this crazy what? situation we're in, she's, she's dropping gems right there. She's dropping some gems. I don't even know what to think. What is she going to do with me? Do to me. Yeah. Right. I wanted to look at something. She goes to the corner of the room to pick up a plastic box. It seems to be filled with laptops and phones. She pulls one laptop out. Looking closer, I realize. Look what I got! Your laptop! I slept over at your house the night I left you in the forest. Luckily, you had your keys with you. I couldn't look at it, though. Password protected. I could find it out myself, but why would I get to ask you? So I would appreciate your help. Spare yourself the dilemma. Here's the deal. Tell me the password. Or die. Am I actually going to die here? It's Lunar Moon. That's a hot password. Wow. Easy. Thanks. By the way, why did you choose the name Luna for your persona? I like the night. Interesting. Not sure why I expected something deeper. Life's not a movie. It's on. This is exciting. I wonder what we'll find in here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> nice background. Not your art, though. Weird. Expecting you to be less humble. What do I look at first? Maybe your folders? Oh, it's so unorganized. Why do you just drop all your images in one folder? And it's all your drawings, too. With gibberish file names. Painful for my eyes. That's a lot of drawings I've never seen before. Wow. I guess you can't post stuff that doesn't please your target audience. That's a sad way to live. Surprisingly, I can't find any NSFW. I thought you'd be more of a degenerate. Oh. Oh. Okay. I think I know what that means. I think I've seen that, that term before. 
Or maybe you're hiding it somewhere else. No luck for me. Here's a little fun fact. It's easy to tell what your type is based on your drawings. You seem to like strong, dominant, goth women. Yeah? Yeah, is that me? I don't know. <laughs> I got the strong part down. Maybe you'd be into me if circumstances were any different. Just kidding. Enough of that for now. I can look at it more later. There's more interesting stuff to see. Your messages. Uh-oh. What, what do I got my messages? Oh, look at that. You got some while you were gone. Concerned friends, maybe? No. Nope. All your clients. I'm sorry. Uh, where's my chat? Did you delete it? Oh, wait. There it is at the bottom. Why do you add every client to your private messages? Emails exist. That's how you get stalkers, you know? But not like it matters now. Reading my messages feels strange. But you probably don't even know it was me. Take a look. Um. Hello! I hope you have a good day. I just wanted to know I really love your art. I can never draw that good. Are your commo commissions open? Hey, thank you. My commissions aren't open at the moment. Thanks for the interest, though. Oh, okay. Can I add you as a friend? Do you want to join my group chat? I'd love to have you there. I gulp. It feels like my stomach is tied into knots. Ah, I was so happy when you replied. It makes me feel warm inside thinking about it. You were surprised by how cute you were. Just so you know, you don't act like that in real life at all. You're actually really sassy. Are you doing that because cuteness sells? That must be it. So naive. I bet a lot of people think you're their friend. But I found you first. Maybe I made a mistake giving, you, giving up on you so fast. No, I can't think that. I'm too easily swayed. I need to move on. Hmm. Hey. I'm going to have to do something bad. Huh? Girl, what you mean? First, your account. Social media. I'm going to delete it. I wish I could say it's because I want to get rid of evidence. Making the cops think you ran away. Something logical. But it's not. It's out of spite. I want to erase you. I can't stand you people sitting on your high horse with all that power. I'm just a peasant to you. And yet, look at your situation. You are defenseless, you're defenseless and powerless. Trust me, I hate it too. Well, that's the button right here. And gone it is. Who cares about the account? She's insane. She puts the laptop down and walks towards me, stopping in front of me. All your hard work gone. Hurts, doesn't it? Or maybe it doesn't. You could just ask people to follow your new account. They still have you in their memory after all. You know what you can't ask for though? Oh, she's getting crazy. Y'all see that? What? Mm. Before I realize what happened, she launches at me and tackles me onto the bed. It's kind of hot. A sharp pain pulsates through my abdomen. I fight back with everything I have and try to get her off me. Ooh, she going in. She getting in guts. She lets go. Wait, what? She let what? She lets go off. She lets go off me by herself. I don't know what. And rips the knife she stabbed me with out of my torso. The blood dr drops cover everything. Stepping back, she watches as I groan in pain and tries to stop the bleeding. Ah! Get away from me! I already did. I won't stab you again if you shut your mouth. You guys always piss me off when you start screaming. Ah! The blood is getting everywhere. My heart is rate is going crazy should i attack her should i scream what can i do i'm going to die here i'm going to what what die here what do you want from me nothing really <laughs> i'll kill you oh yeah how are you going to do that i'll have to launch at her i know she has a knife but i don't care this is the only thing i can do Filled with adrenaline, I jump off the bed. I notice my feet aren't cooperating with me. They are numb and throw me off balance. Before I know it, I fall to the ground. I get to grab one of her ankles as as I fall in hopes I take her down with me. She rips it off my grip with ease and kicks me away. Ah, oh, sad. 
I try to get another grip on her, but notice she has something new in her hand. That's not like a Glock. Did she get a Glock? Did she pull something out of her drawer? My eyes, my eyes focus on it. My eyes focus on it more, and it's a gun. Point it at my face. I knew she got the blicky. I knew she got the what? blicky, man. Look at this. What? Deal. What? Crazy. Hey, you know what? I never really liked you. Now that I think about it, you're a genuinely boring person. I don't think people remember you for long. I'm sorry, but you're nothing. And you know what? I actually think about your work. It's... Hello? Bad ending. Nothing special. Wow, I got the bad ending. I think there's two endings to this.